We've spoken a bit about Habitat and we've spoken a bit about Paragon. Really interested to kind of hear more about Paragon. Obviously it's, it's selling at the moment. Can you tell us a little bit about the project, what the vision for the project was, um, kind of where it's at in terms of the stage, how many apartments it is and kind of what, what's on offer at, at Paragon. Paragon's been an incredible, uh, you know, part of Beulah and, 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 and as a project. Where that all sort of stemmed from, in the early days, we um, Beulah International is obviously a part of other, uh, um, we, we've got involvement in so many different things that we do. But in the construction arm of, of, of Beulah, one of the techniques that we thought about with Paragon was a, a UB type steel structure. Yes. So when we originally designed the building, that sort of skeletal look that wraps around the tower, that looks like diamonds almost, was actually a bracing element for a steel oh, structure. Okay. Uh, and it was something that we were exploring in the early days is we don't want to just be the pinnacle of design, we want to be the pin pinnacle of speed and, and also uh, the way people build in the future. So we're looking at all the elements and while we're testing that process, we looked at the building and hey, this looks like a diamond. Mm. And uh, it's funny actually, the name uh, Paragon came from uh, our, our project manager uh, in the business. We're sitting there around a the table, he goes, you know, um, you know, a, a perfect diamond is a hundred carat, I mean, is actually the word Paragon. Oh right, it's a know, Paragon. Yeah. And I was like, really? So we all started Googling and we're like, gee, that's amazing. So the structure element and then the name came from our project team. I'm like, wow, so there's so many elements of the team. And then we're like, okay, so the building's looking like a diamond. It's got that <laughs> shimmer gold bronze look and it looks hot compared to yeah. anything else in Melbourne right now. It was really what we wanted to, as a statement in the sky of Melbourne, rather than sort of a very boring looking, you know, vertical tower that has some movement in it. And then the, the amazing, you know, over 100 year old heritage facade, which was the uh, the old Irish uh, historic pub, um, which is exciting for us to be involved. Because in. what what amazed what's amazed me with this project thing we were speaking about this the other day that it's actually the best square meterage rate kind of in the city and it's got really incredible amenity on offer. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the amenity um, that the project kind of is is offering. Yeah, and that's probably one of the most exciting things to talk about Paragon mm -hmm. to be honest with you, George, because when we're looking at Paragon, you we're like as a team internally, we've got the design right, we've got the feel right, we've got the floor plans right. And like how do we make this tower a point of difference, not just in Melbourne but also in Australia? And we go we're a lot over to Asia and you see a lot of because it's very humid over there, you see a lot of indoor plants, a lot yeah. of indoor forests in commercial and, and retail towns. Why is no one doing this in Australia? A lot of it's weather specific. So we're like, okay, how do we make this work? So we have this beautiful, um, when we're originally talking to council, they wanted a separation from the heritage facade into the main tower, not just heritage tower. Yep. They wanted something to break it up. So like, how do we make this work? So we're like, let's do a forest. The team got together, we brainstormed, like, let's do Australia's very first indoor forest. Like, everyone's like, it's not gonna work guys. You know, plants will die. Melbourne's a windy city. All of this, we're like, man, we, we've, we're going to make this happen. No matter what, this is the vision. The team's put it forward. How do we make it work? So we rang uh, um, uh, Paul Vanier, who's a, who's a famous landscaper in Australia. Like, Paul, how do we make it work? Paul was like, let's get John, John Patrick involved. He's, a, he's an amazing landscaper as well, who's also technically amazing. Yeah. So we're using two landscape architects. They're in competition, working <laughs> on how do we make these plants grow? How do we make them survive? And how do we make this like game changing? And so Paul's team really took the, 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 the sort of the lead on it and put the design together with the guys with an indoor sort of waterfall and yeah, tropical wow. garden and made it survive, made it work. And now, you know, we've been able to sell a project in Melbourne that's not just another tower, but people can leave their residence and actually study and actually move and be in almost feel like they're in the middle of the botanical garden yeah. almost, but they're in the, the center of the city. 